Have you ever pondered the true cost of conflict and war? It's a question that might cause a pause, a moment of silence, as we navigate the vast landscape of history painted with the vibrant hues of human triumphs and the somber tones of human tragedies. When we talk about the cost of war, we often focus on the tangible, the visible. The loss of human life is an undeniable reality, a grim toll that echoes through generations. Yet, the number of lives lost, as staggering as it may be, doesn't fully encapsulate the true price of conflict. Beyond the battlefield, cities crumble under the weight of war. The destruction of infrastructure, schools, hospitals, homes, leaves communities fractured, their rhythm of life disrupted, their future uncertain. The economic impact is significant as nations divert resources from development and innovation to fuel the engines of war. Yet perhaps the most profound cost of war isn't something we can quantify or express in currency or casualties. It's the psychological trauma inflicted on those who survive, the mental scars that remain long after the guns have fallen silent. But let us not forget about those who often go unnoticed in the grand narrative of war. The ordinary civilians, the everyday people, who bear the brunt of conflict yet seldom feature prominently in historical accounts. These are the forgotten victims of war, the individuals who pay the price not in medals and glory but in tears and loss. They are the children who grow up too fast, their innocence stolen by the harsh realities of war. They are the mothers and fathers who see their hopes and dreams for their children shattered. They are the old, the infirm, the marginalized, who are left to fend for themselves amidst the chaos. Conflict and war charge a hefty price, one that is often paid by the most vulnerable, the forgotten victims. Their stories, their experiences, their sacrifices serve as a poignant reminder of the true cost of war, a cost that goes far beyond what we see on the surface. It's a cost that's etched in the heartbeats of humanity, resonating with every echo of the past and every whisper of the future. Conflict and war charge a hefty price, one that is often paid by the most vulnerable, the forgotten victims. What sparks the wildfires of war and conflict? This question has puzzled historians and scholars for centuries. Often, the ignition point lies in territorial disputes. Nations or groups lay claim to the same piece of land, sparking a heated struggle. Then, there's the chasm of economic inequalities. The rich get richer, and the poor get poorer. This wealth gap can fan the flames of resentment, leading to violent confrontations. In the same vein, political ideologies play a significant role. Differences in beliefs about how a society should be governed can lead to factionalism and, ultimately, conflict. Religious or ethnic tensions, deeply rooted in a society's history, can also be catalysts for war. A perceived threat to one's faith or ethnicity can trigger defensive and aggressive reactions, escalating into full-blown warfare. The seeds of conflict, sown by these factors, blossom into devastating wars, creating countless forgotten victims. What happens when the guns fall silent? In the wake of conflict, we are left with a landscape that's changed forever, not just in the physical sense, but also in the fabric of societies and the lives of individuals. Civilians, often the most vulnerable and least involved in the machinery of war, bear the brunt of these changes. Picture, if you will, a bustling town square now silent and deserted. Shops that once teemed with life and commerce lie in ruin. Displacement is a common aftermath of conflict. People are forced to leave behind their homes, their communities, the life they've known and loved. They become refugees in foreign lands or internally displaced within their own country, struggling for basic necessities like food, shelter and safety. But displacement is only the tip of the iceberg. With the loss of livelihoods comes a new fight, a fight for survival. Fields that once yielded bountiful harvests are now barren or littered with unexploded ordnance. The infrastructure that supported trade and commerce lies in ruins. Individuals who were once providers find themselves reliant on aid, their skills and trades rendered obsolete in this new reality. And let's not forget the scars that aren't visible to the naked eye. 
The psychological trauma inflicted by war is profound and long-lasting. People are haunted by the horrors they've witnessed, the loved ones they've lost. The mental health impact of conflict can last for generations, creating a cycle of suffering that's difficult to break. The struggle to rebuild lives and communities after a war is a monumental one. It involves not just rebuilding structures, but also healing minds, restoring livelihoods, and mending the social fabric that's been torn apart. The end of war does not signal an end to suffering for these forgotten victims. The aftermath often carries hardships that extend far beyond the battlefield. The unseen aftermath of conflict is a tale of resilience and survival, a testament to the indomitable human spirit that perseveres against all odds. Is there a path towards healing and hope after such devastation? The answer lies in the tireless efforts of countless individuals and organizations dedicated to post-conflict recovery and rehabilitation. From peace-building initiatives that aim to prevent future conflicts to psychological support provided to survivors dealing with the invisible scars of war. These actions are instrumental in not only rebuilding destroyed communities, but also in restoring a sense of normalcy to those who have lost everything. Economic aid plays a vital role in this process as well. It provides resources for rebuilding infrastructure, supporting education, and stimulating local economies. It's a beacon of hope, a promise of a better future. But perhaps the most remarkable aspect of this journey towards healing is the resilience and strength of the human spirit. Amidst the ruins, survivors rise determined to rebuild their lives and communities. Despite the horrors of war, the strength of the human spirit often shines through, offering a glimmer of hope amidst the rubble. So, what have we learned about the cost of conflict and its forgotten victims? War, as we've explored, is a complex and harrowing phenomenon. It's far more than just the clashing of nations or ideologies. It's a human tragedy with a toll that extends beyond the battlefield. The true price of conflict is not solely measured in economic terms or territorial gains. It's counted in the lives lost, the communities shattered, and the generations scarred by its aftermath. We dove deep into the causes of conflict, understanding that they are often rooted in a complex web of historical grievances, political power plays, and economic disparities. These issues, when left unaddressed, can ignite the spark of war, leading to a cascade of suffering that extends far beyond the initial dispute. We also delved into the unseen aftermath of war. The physical scars may heal, but the emotional and psychological wounds can linger for a lifetime. We've seen how the survivors, often women, children, and the elderly, bear the brunt of the devastation. They are the forgotten victims, their stories untold, and their plight overlooked in the grand narrative of war. But we also discussed healing and hope. The resilience of the human spirit cannot be underestimated. Even in the darkest hours, there is a light that shines through the gloom, a beacon of hope that guides us towards a better future. It's the grassroots organizations providing support, the volunteers offering aid, and the survivors themselves rebuilding their lives and communities. The importance of peace cannot be overstated. It's not just the absence of conflict, it's the presence of justice and equality. It's the recognition of our shared humanity and the collective effort to create a world where every individual can thrive. Finally, we underscored the critical need for post-conflict support. It's not enough to just stop the fighting. We must also address the underlying issues that led to the conflict in the first place and provide the necessary resources for healing and rebuilding. In understanding the true cost of conflict, we uncover the stories of the forgotten victims and hopefully take a step towards ensuring that such tragedies are not repeated in the future.